I'm glad to see everyone here this morning. I'm Professor Nicolau of the Advertising Design Department, and this is my live drawing class. And um, this is our end of the semester um, drawing exhibition. And our guest today is Professor Joel Mason, the chair of the Advertising Design and Graphic Arts Department. Not only does he have experience as an artist in the design field, but he's well educated in the fine arts area. He's a graduate of the Cooper Union Art School. You know, there's one other point I'd make, which is sort of interesting, about drawing itself, the, the role of drawing in, in the whole process of design and, and of, of making art. Uh, if you look back in the history of, of art, and I hope you all take art history courses, one of the things that I hope you'll be aware of is that for many, uh, really up until I'd say the 19th century, drawing was not regarded as an end in itself. Drawing was simply a means to a, a product, a finished product. And drawings were um, studies, in many, many cases, they were simply studies for finished paintings. Um, the word cartoon actually is an Italian word, and, and it, those cartoons were actually drawings that were done as prepar preparatory drawings for frescoes. And uh, are you familiar with the, the fresco process at all, how that works, where artists would, would lay a coat of wet plaster on the wall, then these, these uh, cartoons would be placed against it, and then with a pin they would actually prick little holes following the outline of the drawing onto the wet plaster, and the drawing would be taken away and thrown away, and then the artist would begin painting. So there are, there are no, no, almost no drawings of that, very few of that period. For example, Michelangelo, we've all heard of the artist Michelangelo. Well, there are very few drawings that survived from that period because they didn't consider them as final works of art in themselves. They were just a means to an end. Whereas today, we have an appreciation of drawing as a, a form in itself. Uh, Gabriella, uh, too, uh, is there anything that you want to share with us in general about your development as a young artist? I would say that in this field, I, was, uh, I am new, and I didn't know anything. I didn't know any medium, what I, what I can use. So I learned the vocabulary in the art, and I used um, the new spring for the first time, and also the charcoal and pastel. So I would share that um, it was really new and really difficult. It was a struggle like uh, for everybody else. And I'm very happy that actually I have some pieces over here, but I would never thought that I would make. And I learned, uh, most amazing was learning the color, the pastels, to put it together and make a depth in the, in the drawing. You know what's interesting with Gabriella's work? She did a whole series of skeletons. She used the skeleton as a focal point. And not only does the composition work, but she's given it a psychological narrative. It seems to be a still from the movie. She made the skeleton so sympathetic, so human-like. You want to know what's going to happen next. Mm. Jennifer, you worked very hard. You were a master of uh, draftsmanship. Would you like to share something with us? Um, just that in the beginning I used to draw um, lines, contour lines, and now I learned how to be more freer. And I learned how to draw a bigger scale because I always used to draw on smaller pieces of paper and now I know how to draw on bigger paper. Jones, you, work, uh, you were extremely successful with color. Did you want to share something with us? It took me a while to develop that consistent draftsmanship that I needed. And um, I think it was really what it came down to was my willingness to learn at the end, and I think that's what carried me through here.